uh, Sebastian Brendel, which is no mean feat. I mean, for many years, Sebastian Brendel was the best canoe paddler on the planet. Yeah. And we were expecting big things from Conrad Schiedner, but then he had the injury, had the sickness and that sort of stuff. And, and uh, you know, I know that personally he really struggled through all of that. So great to see him back. Yeah, no, fair play to him. That takes a lot of mental strength and persistency to keep going and get through that tough time. Now, I have to say, Jenny, this is the race that I've been looking forward to today, maybe even for the weekend. I mean, these guys always put on a show in the K1 1000. It, it's an Olympic event, and the best thing about this race today, folks, you have your gold, silver, and bronze medalists from Tokyo out there again, throwing it down, and I can guarantee you there's a big Hungarian crowd here and they are going to be banging those drums. They are going to be very, very loud because Balint Kopas, the reigning Olympic and world champion, is in lane nine, so he'll be coming down right under their noses. What a race is this going to be, Jenny? This is going to be some race. And, you know, I have to say well done to Daniel Johnson from yes. uh, Great Britain for making this final here today. What an achievement for him. Um, and, uh, you know, it's to have his name among such phenomenal stars of our sport. And here he is, achieved it. And credit to him for being in this A final today. And well, there's some big names in the B final. Like Josef Dostal was there, for example. Some big names. So Daniel Johnson's done very well. Very well. Um, and Tom Lusty also did very well yesterday, making the A final, the K1 500 metres. So, yeah, um, well done to them. So, Balin Copes is the hometown favourite. Adam Varga, though, I must say, looked very, very good in the semi finals, looked very relaxed. Uh, of course, you know that Fernando Pimenta will go out hard, the, po the, the Portuguese athlete. Tom Green, seventh in the Olympics. Uh, he's looking strong this year as well. Rene Paulson, the veteran, always puts on a good show. Arda Peters from... I mean, this is just a quality field. Francisco Cubelas from Spain is fast. There he is there. He's gone out fast again. The, Cu the Cubelas from Spain. Whether he can hold on against this sort of quality field, I don't know. And there's Pimenta going where he likes to go. Out to the front. <laughs> this is the way he's always raced his races. He goes out hard and he throws down the challenge. Sometimes it comes off a lot of the time. Well, not a lot of the time, but sometimes it doesn't come off. And you see someone like Adam Varga. Look how relaxed. I just, whenever I see this guy paddle, Jen, I just think he looks like he's just having a casual stroll on the lake. It's sickening to watch how easy he makes it look. <laughs> but he's such a, like, he's so tall. He's such a powerful athlete. And look at him, just the way he can propel the boat through the water. Well, I'll tell you what, he is trying to break Fernando Pimenta's heart early on because Pimenta would not like to be headed at this stage of the race but look at that folks he's thinking I'm just going to paddle down here and get a carton of milk from the shops uh, when I come back I might stop at the park and by the way I look how far I'm in front in this K1 1000 meter field just looking very comfortable Copas as we just saw closest to the camera he is uh, the, of course, the home, hometown favourite here. They love him after he won gold. Of course, it was gold and silver for the Hungarians in Tokyo, with Kopes holding off Varga to uh, to win the gold in Tokyo. Ken Balint Kopes turn the tables today. There they are, Kopes closest to the camera. It's Varga in front. And Fernando Pimenta holding on there for the third position. Now, the rest of the field, well, they're all biding their time. But the quality of these three front athletes, very hard to chase them down if you want to yeah. leave it to the last. Just look at Dan Johnson out in lane one there. He is powering along. He really is. This is a breakthrough race for, uh, for Daniel Johnson. And we know that the British men's sprint program, since uh, the retirement of Liam Heath, they've been calling out. They've been waiting for someone to come through and pick up the baton to become the new poster boy for British canoeing. Could it become Daniel Johnson? But uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves yet. At the moment, he's sitting back there in, uh, I think, fourth spot, just challenging the green, the yellow and green uh, boat of Tom Green there from Australia. But Adam Varga just keeping the momentum going. Copas closest to us on camera. Just keeping an eye on him out of the corner of his eye, just watching where he is. Who's got the strongest finish of these two, do you think, Jenny? Oh, 
I think Adam Varga, he just looks like he's out for a Sunday stroll. Yeah, he really is. And <laughs> Pimenta refusing to go away. Maybe this is a different tactic we're seeing from Fernando Pimenta in 2023. Maybe he's decided that he's going to keep something in reserve for the sprint home. But look at Adam Varga. Goodness me, ladies and gentlemen. This guy is a quality athlete. He's a quality young man off the water. And he is a quality athlete on the water. This has been a lesson in canoe sprint paddling for Adam Varga. You can hear the Hungarian crowd getting behind him. They love his work. They love what he's been able to do. And he is in control. He has got this race by the throat. You can not You can see uh, Kopas coming into the picture now. And Pimenta flying home to take the silver. Well done, Fernando Pimenta. And Valent Kopas settling for the third. But that was a brilliant race, Adam Varga. You have given us all a lesson today in how to stay calm, how to stay focused, and how to put together a perfect race. And Fernando Pimenta coming across now to congratulate the young man who really, really wanted to make a, a show of it today for the home crowd. They've had to wait a little while, the Hungarian fans, to get their first gold medal. Yeah, unusual for them, but they've got it now. He's such a... Uh, some of my Hungarian friends tell me that uh, he's such a level-headed young man, Jenny. He's, he's studied, studying at university. He's he's really focused in what he's doing off the water and making sure that he's got a career for himself after, after sport, uh, which so many athletes forget to do. Um, and he really has got it focused off the water, but just on the water. Wow, that was a very impressive race. Yeah, and you, you speak about that, Ross, and it's so important to have a balance in life, you know, I think to I think most people should kind of think about what they'll do after the sporting career and you know they don't need to have so many hours of their day dedicated to it but to do something bit by bit over the years will really help them and help them mentally knowing that they have something else after their sport. And credit there to Fernando Pimenta as well he's not used to being headed early on in the race and Varga decided to throw down the challenge early on and Pimenta having to chase an athlete home and actually did show in the uh, the closing stages that he he uh, even though he was headed early that he still got that fight in him and he was over to able to overcome the other Hungarian Balan Kopas who is by the way an Olympic and a world champion so no mean feat there to knock off an athlete of that stature it is early days of course Jenny we've got uh, Poznan to come up but the big one will be Duisburg we shouldn't take too much away from this but gee I think Adam Varga will sleep well tonight knowing that he has got some good form already yeah for sure you know it's such a confidence boost for him and he's probably going to have uh, Varga and Balance uh, Kopas are probably going to have a lot of 